Testing. Testing. All right, I think we're good to go. Welcome everybody to the Virtual Oval. In Virtual Oval, Indy 240 at Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Here for the Virtual Oval. Guys, sorry about the little mishap at the beginning. Um, testing a new program that for some reason didn't pick up my mic at first. Don't know why. But we are live here. About to get underway here very shortly. Uh, about to finish up practice. The Indianapolis 240. The break 240, I'm sorry. Uh, should be a fun one here for these guys as we got 94 laps, I do believe, on the schedule for today. Uh, guys are out there practicing right now. Hopefully the connection stays stable because at first my first joined where it is a you know a German server, I had a little bit of connection issue. But I think we're going to be good to go for this and uh, should be a fun race. Take a look here at your fastest results out on track right now. Alexander Abraham. Sitting up in first place right now in that Toyota, followed by six Chevrolets with the number 70 of Bocor leading the Chevrolets in another Toyota back in eighth. Our first Ford, Rogue Garcia, in that number 37, and rounded off by another Chevy in 10th place. A little bit further back, you can see your rest of your top 20. Some very good guys in here. Kevin Adam right there in that number 79. Mark Kiss in that number 34. I've actually broadcasted a couple races with him in it, I do believe. I'm pretty sure I have. A um, little bit further back in the field. Brian Diaz, or Diaz uh, in that number 80 car, 24th. And number 28 right now is Daniel Adam in a Chevrolet. Getting ready to get this race started here. Uh, 14 seconds left we get ready to go qualifying and we'll be tuning over to that as well I do got to pop up something on my screen real fast I hope it don't pop up on the main screen there we go that way I can have my live scoring up and stuff like that Praxin just now finishing up and we'll get ready to get this race going here in just one moment Cars crossing the finish line. Indianapolis Motor Speedway, a very fun track. We'll take a look real fast at the weather. 103 degrees track temps for these A-Class Cup cars. As it looks like qualifying about to get underway. Take a look here as our first guy is about to pull out on to the track. Take a look here at the number 84. On your screen. From Central Eastern Europe. You know, one cool thing, you don't really see a lot of guys driving um, ovals, I guess you could say, from foreign country, well, foreign to me, but, you know, across the seas. Uh, it's pretty cool to see these guys do that. I'm a big fan. These guys are actually really clean racers, and they will continue to be that here today uh, for this race tonight. So, should be good. Indianapolis, a very tricky track. You can see right here, 2.5 miles with four turns. The motorsports, I call it the, motor, the center of motorsports in America. As here comes the number 84, taking the green flag to get his qualifying lap started. We'll continue watching him. Working through turn number one. Very flat turns here at Indianapolis. Not very much banking at all. Oh, turn number two down this long back stretch. Kind of like, uh, I'm going to say this back stretch is just as long as what we would have at Day or Talladega. Um, but the turns, well, probably not as long as Talladega, but the turns are extremely long considering that there are four of them. Here comes off turn number four. Going to put down his first lap and we will hop over to another driver once we see how he does here. Across the wall of bricks, or the ground of bricks, I should say. Puts out a 52 615. Puts him up into that fifth spot. There we go, is Rogue Garcia in that number 37 car. I hope everybody's paints are showing up right. I'm using a different kind of paint program. I hope they're showing up right. Uh, some of them may, some of them may not, but I did do exactly what I was told to do to get them to show up. So. Sorry about that. A 
Oh, off the turn number two or one. He slams the wall. And Bro Garcia is still sitting in seventh right now, but that's going to put it into his lap. The 36 coming out on track, so while he comes out, we'll take a look at somebody else. Currently 19th is the number 28 car of Marcus. Actually, he is finishing up his lap, so he will not continue. Mark Kiss out on track. Number 34. I don't see no paint on his car, so that's a little weird. But hopefully we'll figure it out. Here he comes across the strap. And he's going to put in a lap of a currently sitting 15. See if he can improve here. And he does not improve on his lap. Here's number 22. Coming down into turn number four. Michael Kravacek. Actually, he is crossing. He is done. So he is currently 17th right now. Not many drivers left. Here's Andre's top. Currently in the 23rd spot. He is about to. Actually, he's just now in his green flag lap. So he does still have time to put down a good qualifying lap. We'll see how he does. Working through turn number three in that number 10 car. The chicken pit car. <laughs> That's awesome. Number 10, Toyota about to cross the start finish line over 195 miles per hour. Make that 199, 200 miles per hour, 201. He's going to cross the start finish line in 56.265, still in 25th. Not pick up any time there on his first lap. We'll see if he's able to do here anything on his second lap. Down to speeds to 156. And you know what? That's going to end qualified. He did not have time to get his second lap in. But nonetheless, we're about to grid him up. And this is going to be a good one. Take a look here at our grid rundown. VirtualOval.net. Go check these guys out. Alexander Abraham will start first, followed by that number 70, starting to his outside. Frank in that number 50 car will start in third place. Kevin Adam will start in fourth place. Good run for that 79 so far. The 63 and 92 of Martin Kappel will start in row number three. Row number four, George Mark. I'm sorry, I'm not going to pronounce it. And Florida, I know they're probably laughing because I'm American. I can't pronounce these names. They're probably killing themselves for laughing, so I'm sorry. There's Thomas in that number 52 car, followed by Ro Garcia in that number 37. There's the 51 and Daniel Adam in row number 6. Juan Rodriguez in row number 7, followed by that name, number 84. <laughs> sorry. Um, row number 8. Is going to be on the outside with Mark Kiss in that number 34 car. Michael Krafzik in, I call him Micah, uh, but he will be in row number 9. Right behind him, Joanna Sleeman in the 19th spot with Gabriel in that number 16 in row number 10. Row number 11, Robert and Wolf Dierich Hot, who I think is how you say his last name. Uh, like I said, I'm butchering some of these names. I'm aware of that. Row number 12, Brian Diaz and Marcus Stahl. Andreas Top, Andreas Top and Thomas Mandal in 25th and 26th. 27th and 28th goes to Roman Mathis and Maurice Lindera. And that's going to run off the field. We're about to get ready to go here. We'll go high above. As the Ford Mustang pace car rolls, and here comes the cars rolling across the wall of bricks. All the way back to his deep field, full of drivers here tonight.
I think I might have messed up on my overlay, but I'll be fixing that. <laughs> Hopefully something will pop up on the screen and it will, but we'll fix it anyway. About to get this race underway. Should be a good one, as I said earlier. It'll be a fun race. 94 laps, I do believe, here tonight. As we get ready to go now, waiting on the pace car to drop in. And the Ford Mustang pace car drops in, and we are underway. Once the green flag waves, and here we go. Green flag is out. We're underway here at Indianapolis Motor Speedway. As a bunch of cars head into turn number one. This is right here is where a lot of wrecks can happen early on. You can see all the cars coming in. That number 14 car right there is looking really nice, by the way. Race alongside that 48. Uh, all of them make it through turn one unscathed. So we're going to continue racing on here. Through turn number three. Battles pretty much everywhere right now on the track. Currently watching this number 93 car work out higher line. As we got one car coming into the pits. Not sure if there's any damage right there, but you can see that number 93 Lowe's car right there now. Trying to make up some positions working on this 54 car right in front of him. Working on the 84 car, I'm, I apologize. Now starting to try to get a little bit single file. There is no battle really up front at the moment. Everybody's pretty much starting to spread out, which is very impressive. I'm actually surprised to see this starting to get spread out this early, but that is what these drivers need. They don't need to be side-by-side -side racing in all these turns. Very impressed right now with how, how well they're driving. These cars are not easy to drive here. You can see... Watching this number 17 car. He's running a little bit different line in that number three on the Chevrolet. One of my favorite paint schemes, by the way. Representing the man, Chase Elliott. But um, you see that he's running a different line compared to a lot of these guys. A little bit higher entry. And uh, run a little bit higher compared to what, you know, the car in front of him right there at 37. Uh, Ro Garcia is running. The 87 right there, right or 27 right behind him. Daniel Adam. And that Menard Chevy trying to get a run on this number 17 car. Possible battle going on up here for the second. We'll jump ahead, as you can see. Number 79 of Kevin Adams working on the back of this 70 car. Chevy versus Ford down the front stretch. Right now, the leader has checked out completely. He, Abraham, or Alexander Abraham, currently 1.5 seconds ahead of the second place and third place car. You also got this 50 of Frank coming into the picture at Domino Chevrolet. Take a look back here at Frank. You can see him right behind, and then we'll take a look right here in the front. Trying to run down this number 70 car. Riding on the nose with Kevin Adam out of Liberia. Mm -hmm. 
everybody for the most part single file with five laps already in the books here for the brick or for the race at the brickyard sorry <laughs> A little bit further back, here we go. We got a race back here with the 36 to 93. Joanna's Lehman leading the way right now in that 36, but there is a battle starting to heat up right here behind them. This battle's been going on for a while, too, with the 93, the 84, the 22, and the 16 all starting to get involved, as well as the uh, 48 also involved in this little battle. And now, as soon as I go back to them, they start getting single file. They run as double wide there for a little bit. Go back here and check on Mark Kiss and see how he's doing. Out of Central Eastern Europe in that number 34 car. A little bit further look back here in the field. One of my favorite paint schemes also. One of them is the number 14 car. You see him on your screen. The Kiss My Bass Chevrolet from Bass Pro Shops. He's going to put a pass and cross over the 80 of Brian Diaz and take away that number 21st position. Nothing really up front going on. Um, right here's your best battle for the third spot now. The 50 of Frank has ran down the Kevin Adam in that number 79 Ford Fusion. Trying to put a pass on him. I will say that the 28 actually did quit, uh, or looks like possibly disconnected. I'm not sure what happened there. I suppose the 92, maybe they got loose and wrecked into a turn, but they have not done it. Martin uh, Capel in that 92, not even out on track right now, uh, four laps down. Still watching this battle for third from Kevin Adam. Taking a look back at the number 50 of Frankie Nett, Domino Chevrolet. Coming off turn number four. It's a great shot right here, that 50 car. You can see the speed that these cars really do carry down the straightaways. 167. Oh, a little bit of brush right there with the 79 into the wall a little bit. I don't think it's going to do any damage, though. He just got a little high. This may open up the door for the 50, though, to get a run. He's looking to the inside. Watching this battle. 185 right now. 190 down the straightaway. Backstretch. 197. 200 miles an hour almost going into the turn. However, this 50 car of Frank will take that position away. Possibly. Thought a little crossover was coming, but... Looks like Kevin Adams just going to fall in behind him, and we'll continue on. Looking a little bit back here is the 16 of Gabriel out on track right now. Uh, started up in the 20th spot, currently showing 15th. Possible pass right here with Marcus in at number 48 car, working on this 27 now down this front stretch. Two Chevrolets going at it into turn number one. This should be an easy pass for that 48, and it will be. Great passing here early on in this race. Everybody's starting to get a little spaced out now. I'm um, looking through the field to see where the biggest battle is. There really ain't no big battles right now to speak of. Kevin Adams still on the back of this uh, number 50 car right now. Unable to do anything with it just yet. So, With that said, we're going to go side by side and take our first break here for Center Force TV and the... Virtual Overall Series.
We're back here for the virtual oval Indy 240, 240 miles. That's right now you're watching Alexander Abraham lead the way. Indianapolis to Brick 240, you can see it right there on your screen. This guy right now has led a total of 12 laps now as he just crosses the line to continue leading the way. Started first, currently showing in the first. The only driver behind him is 2.5 seconds back. We'll get a look at him as well. We work our way through the field and talk a little bit about some of these guys. Started up in the second spot, still currently running second in that number 70 Chevrolet SS. Uh, fastest lap of a 52.785. See real fast as I bring up my previous lap by. Actually was a little bit faster last time by than earlier. Go a little bit further back in the field. Here is Frank starting at third. Currently is shown in that third spot. Previous lap matched the second place guy with a 54.235. Right behind Frank is Kevin Adams who is starting in fourth. Currently shown in the fourth right now. Uh, last time was a 54.280. And you see it right there. Now it was a 54.633. Right behind him is Florian in that number 64 car. Ford Fusion. Sorry about that. Uh, previous lap of a 54.405. A little bit faster than Kevin right now in front of him. Right behind him is Christine. Silliman, I think is how you say his name. Uh, I'm probably butchering that. Last lap, 54-413. Started in 11th place, currently up to 6th. So that 51 car is currently on a move in that Toyota Camry. Keep an eye on him. Already up 5 spots from where he started. Here is Juan Rodriguez, currently in the 7th place. Started in 13th out of Liberia in that number 75 Chevrolet. You can see him right now up a few spots as well. And, uh... Continue marching forward. Here's somebody that's actually on the downside a little bit. The 63 started in fifth place. Back three positions from where he started. And at Ford Fusion. Right behind him is the 52 of George Marquin. George Marquinez, I think that's his name. Currently showing in the ninth place. Starting in the seventh. Uh, definitely not where he wants to be. So look for him to try to make up some room. And we'll run out top 10 with Rogue Garcia. Started 10th out of Australia and currently running 10th. Last up of a 55-080. Slowest of our top 10. Actually, I take that back. He is the second slowest of our top 10. But he continues to march and see if he can pick up some spots. Run a little bit further back. We'll go back a little bit further in the field. Take a look here at Andreas Top, who I expected to actually have a really good run. Currently showing in the 25th after starting 24. 30 seconds behind, 8 seconds behind the car in front of him in that number 10 Chicken Pit Toyota. But I have a little bit of trouble here early on in this race. I'm not sure if what's going on, but it looks like hopefully he's able to get back going and everything will be okay. see watching him right now we're going to jump back up to our leader I think once I check and see if there's any oh we got a little bit of lag here we go <clears throat> trying to see if there is right here we go here's a battle for position the 93 working on the 32 car as the 32 continues working on this 37 trying to break into the top 10 is the 93 car we should have pit stops coming up soon i would expect around the lap within the lap 20 something i would probably guess we would have pit stops then see the rookie stripes on some of these cars Just to let you know, this is a guy who has made two pit stops right now. Showing in the 26th place is Thomas Courtney. And uh, right now in 26, like I was saying. So, he is the last car right now on the lead lap. 
we're going to hop on board and take a ride around Indianapolis once we come back to the strop and ride with our leader who has, the lead has actually shrunk here quite a bit now. 1.1 seconds back is that number 70 car. We'll go ahead and hop on board here with the number 19 of Alexander and get a ride around Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Ooh, a little bit of a wiggle there from that number 19 car. But down the straightaway, you can already see the lap times have fallen off quite a bit compared to his fast lap running 55s now. Uh, I will say that the 70 car has been faster the last few laps. We'll continue watching this, but it looks like his 19 may not have the long run car that he's wanting. Uh, could be coming to pits here very soon, I would probably guess. Working off turn number two, a very flat turn number two. Kind of drive this place like I would drive, uh, not really New Hampshire. I'm trying to think of what track it would be like. Probably like Gateway, I guess you could say. Maybe not as high as you would Gateway, but I, I feel like that would probably be the track that I would kind of refer some of these turns to. Probably not even that track, to be honest. Maybe Indiana or Pocono. Yeah, Pocono would be the way, I guess. The way you would drive turn one at Pocono really reminds me of how you would drive Indianapolis. There's your ride around Indianapolis, though. As that number 19 car continues on, last time by, he was fast, or previous time, he was not faster. He was just a little bit faster, or slower than the guy running him down in that number 70 car. The fastest guy out on track previous time by, however, was this man. Number 64 of Florian starting eighth place up four spots now. And he may be getting a look to the inside. Put at number 79 of Kevin Adam and he's not going to be able to do anything with it. Possible pit stops coming up. And here comes our leader. Down pit road. Scheduled green flag stop. He does got a little bit of damage on that right front, however. Looks like he's going to try to break this into pit stops of four. That number 19 Sim Pit Toyota. I'm going to take four tires. I'm not sure if these guys actually have a fast repair, to be honest. Oh, he slides through his pit box. He's going to have to back up. That's definitely going to cost him to leave whenever he stops. Does not take a fast repair. They may not have one, to be honest. He's going to be down and away with a very slow stop here for the number 19 of Alexander Abraham. 14.6 seconds stopped in the box. However, he did miss his box. So it was about 15.1 the 15.2. Remember, you got to go around the whole entire apron. You can see the cones right there. You got to stay on the access road all the way around. That does give us our first lead change, however. But we do got a battle here for the lead. As Frank trying to look underneath this number 70 car. He does have a little bit of opening here side by side. Nope. And Frank's going to pull back in line. Trying to get some draft here down this long back stretch here in Indianapolis into turn number three. Track starting to rubber up just a little bit. And here we go. Pass for the lead. Should be able to take this. We'll see. Still side by side going into four. And new leader, 50. We'll see if he comes to pit road, however, this time. And he will not. Don't look like anyone behind him is going to come as well. So our third lead change of the afternoon it says two lead changes, but that actually is our third. Um, well, no, that's our second lead change. I apologize. That is our second. I forgot that Abraham actually started on the pole.
Take a look here after 79 of Kevin Adam working on the back end of uh, Florian in at 64. 79 was fastest last time by. Oh, it looks like the 64 man it actually scraped the wall a little bit. That looks like it's going to hurt him. Hmm? Looking high above Indianapolis Motor Speedway in her blimp. Got some car exit of pit road. Looks like that is Mark Kiss, and it is. We do got green flag stops starting to take place. However, some of these guys have not pitted. Possibility some of these guys could be doing this in a three stop race instead of a four. Then again, maybe a, the Nazi just wanted to come down and get fresh tires because he's seen his lead was shrinking just a little bit. Twenty-four laps, caution-free right now. Oh, there we go. There's a little bit of check up there for the fifty-one. He's going to have to let Mark Kiss go by. Mark Kiss on fresher tires, however, definitely going to make him lose a little bit of momentum. Here comes Mark Kiss. I remember Mark Kiss did pit, um, so he is a lap down. Here comes the seventy-nine down pit road, and also our leader, Frank on pit road. You can see him coming down as well. Bunch of guys coming to pit road. Oh, it looks like someone got checked up back there. 37 Road Garcia locked them up. I don't know if he got caught speaking. We'll keep an eye on that. But our first scheduled green flag pit stops really getting underway now as this is a big stop. See the cars take up four tires on pit road. Here comes the 50 of Frank coming out of your screen. We'll continue staying with this view. 64 coming down the road as well. Just came across the radio as you heard. Here comes a good battle off pit road. Looks like 17 is going to lead these group of cars. And everyone else going to fall in line. So there was green flag pit stops. Waiting on to 70 now. Here he comes. So we got our second round. Well, third round, to be honest, of green flag pit stops coming down the road now. See him sliding into their box. We'll continue to stay with this kind of camera angle. That way we can watch cars. Uh, right now, the 63 did retain the lead or take the lead back. This should all cycle back through. Actually, it may wind up cycling through to... The, uh, to Frank in that 50 car. Here comes the 70 off pit road, or I'm sorry, the 10, it looks like. There's the 70 coming off pit road now. It should all cycle through to this man right here, though. As you can start seeing some of that rubber build up on the track. Uh, because right now, looking... Trying to see... Oh, nope, it's going to cycle through to Alexander Abraham. Even though he had that little extra long pit stops. Or pit stop, I'm sorry. Watching this 37 to see if he got caught speeding. I don't know if he did or not. We're going to continue watching him for one lap to see if he did or not. And may have to come back down pit road. And it looks like he did not, so it's good for him. Everybody right now, spaced out Ro Garcia here is fighting for position with the number 52 of Thomas Courtney. And into turn one, 37 wants that position. Side by side through turn number one, it looks like the 52 one is just going to let him go. 52 is going to let him go. Oh, we may have a caution. What a save there by the 64 Florian. Wow, that can't be good for the tires, however, but we're going to get our first instant replay of the night as we watch the 64. Gets a little bit of contact right here. Actually, makes contact with the 64, and yeah, so great save there by both of them guys. So he will lose a couple spots, however, but... Right now, here's your good battle right now with all three. Three wide down the front stretch. Let's 
Still three wide going into turn one. Someone checked out of that. Looks like the 52 is going to break almost contact maybe with the 64 and the 50, uh, 64 and the 93. Sorry, I'm getting my numbers confused. Up front right now, the 63 still leading this way. I'm kind of surprised that he's actually staying out as long as he has. He has not come down pit road yet. To be honest, there's six guys that have not come down pit road yet. Possibly looking for a caution. This is really going to hurt these guys if they don't come down. Well, it's probably too late now because Alexander Abraham has already closed in quite a few spots uh, on the leader. And it is running way faster times, 54 to 56. As the 63 is hitting 56 second last, 56.4 last time by with Alexander Abraham running a 54-0-1-0. I would expect him to cut a pit road. No, he will not. Right now, he's leading the way. With that said, we're going to step away once again, get another break in, go grab a drink and some snacks, and be right back. If you love to eat, then flavor means everything. I want to tell you about Swamp Dust Seasoning. Swamp Dust will take your great recipes to the next level. It's the secret ingredient that your family and friends will always ask about. Whether you're grilling, broiling, or frying, Swamp Dust goes great on meats, vegetables, just about everything. Now you can take your meals from average to awesome. Made in small batches to ensure accuracy and high quality standards, Swamp Dust is a perfect balance of spices and herbs. It's all natural. And the magical blend is fantastic on everything. Whatever you're preparing, oysters, eggs, venison, fish, poultry, beef, anything, Swamp Dust seasoning will make it totally awesome. To get yours, visit SwampDust.com. Swamp Dust, it's for real. SwampDust.com. We are back with the virtual oval Indy 250, the brick, here at the Brickyard Indianapolis Motor Speedway. 32 laps are complete here, as you've seen it with the leader coming in. Alexander Abraham retakes the lead on just a few laps ago, around lap 31 or so, and uh, already led 20 laps here already. Nobody right now has been able to really keep up with Alexander for the most part. Um, take a little bit, a little bit further back. There's Frank in that number 50 car. He has actually pulled out over the 70 now. Uh, he's probably the one with the best pit strategy, I would guess. However, Alexander's going to have to pit. He pitted back on lap 21, and we're on lap 33. So we're going to be watching to see when Alexander comes in. 
Still just a few laps away from that, however. Caution could change everything. A little bit further left back here in the field. You can see the number 22 car running around the track right now. Started up at 17. Still is 17th right now. Car in front of him is the 34 Mark Kiss, who's about a second, 1.3 seconds ahead. Right there, the bottom left, top five gaps between each car. Frank's two seconds behind Alexander Abraham to 70. Is three seconds behind Frank. Kevin Adams is about, uh, what is that? Three seconds, or yeah, 2.5 seconds. And then the 51, who we haven't really spoke a lot about. Not really. Anyway. Start 11th, showing in the fifth place. One of our biggest movers of the entire race right now is that number 51 car. Definitely showing he's got what it takes to run up front at Indianapolis. Right now looking at a pretty solid top five finish. Here's our biggest race out on track right now. The 93 and the 48 going at it. And there's a 10 car up against the wall. He's just going to let them go by. Coming across the strap of bricks. This is the biggest battle out on the track right now that we have. I will tell you that the gap is actually starting to close for the lead. See it right here. Four tenths back is that number 50 car in that Domino's Chevrolet. That is a lap car right there to his inside. Number 99. See him right here on your screen currently showing in the 23rd place. He's just going to let him go. Not going to put up a fight with him. Battle for the lead now starting to heat up. Them tires are slowly wearing out on Alexander Abraham's car. You can see it. As he will probably give it to lead fairly easy here going into turn three. And there he goes. Frank back to the lead in that number 50 car. Has only led two laps. However... This time, he may actually have a chance to pull away a little bit here and get some laps led as well. Make that three laps once he hits the bricks across the strop. And there it is. Three laps led so far for Frank in that number 50 car. Trying to pull away from Alexander Abraham. And this guy right here who's trying to run these guys down at number 70 car. Started in second. Ecos Bocor, I think is how you say his name. Out of Central Eastern Europe. I already see the gap has pretty much gone. Frank has pulled way ahead now of Alexander Abraham. 1.6 seconds ahead. A little bit further look back here in the field. We got a battle right here with the 22 car. Working at high side, uh, 84 does take that position away. Move Michael back into the 17th spot where he started. A 
very interesting track here at Indianapolis. One of the toughest tracks to really drive from a driver standpoint. It might not be the greatest broadcast top race, um, but it does offer a lot of you know challenges for the drivers themselves. Watching this battle right now out on track between the 14 of Thomas Ramon is in at 57 and the 36 that we're currently watching right now may have a battle position right here with the 14 looking to the inside of the 63 Chevy versus Ford oh the 14 gets a little bit loose right there at the exit of the turn but going to gather it back up and continue on Try to keep the fenders clean on these cars is very tough. One little scrape with the wall, you really lose a lot of time. Uh, it flares the fenders out, and it's more like a big parachute. This is race number one of our two races today. CFR Championship tonight. We go live at 7.55 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at Darlington Motor Speedway for the Throwback 150. And I'm going to be honest, that, that's going to be a crazy race. It's going to be a lot of caution. So tune in to see what all happens. A lot of tempers are going to flare in that race, I'm sure. Still watching this battle right here with the 14 of Thomas working on the 63. Uh, you can see the, who is that right there? Alexander Abraham did actually just come off pit road not too long ago. So he is behind these guys right now, showing in the 21st spot. Uh, he is the, right now he's the last car on the lead lap. Showing four cars. There are a couple cars right now, one lap down. A lot of it's got to do with whether it could be coming down pit road. Alexander Abraham has been really fast, so we're continue to, we'll watch him right here as he tries to work through. He does got fresher tires, so this could be an issue. Here he comes, around looking underneath the 57 of Ramon Mathis. Takes that spot away. Now he sets his sights in front of the 14, who is battling still with that 63 car. So this right here could be an issue for all three of these guys. We'll see what happens. Someone's shot sparks up there. A little bit of a bump, possibly, from that 19 car. Looking to the inside, and he's going to try it. Ooh, he saves it. Great save there by Alexander. Still side by side, however, with the 14. Known as Baxter should be able to take that spot fairly with ease with fresh tires. And hear him coming across the radio. Alexander takes that spot away. Now trying to pass the 63, and he will pass the 63 as well. Not really anything happening up front. Our biggest battle right here for the 7th, 8th uh, position as they work around, try to work around some lap cars. Forty-eight also in that mix. Mark Kiss now. Trying to make a pass on the 75 of Ron Rodriguez down the front stretch. Looks like he should be able to get that. This has happened right in front of the 22. This could open the door for the 22, but it looks like Mark's going to clear before they get to one. And it will not cause an issue for the 22 to try to make up some time there as well.
just let everybody know the fastest the previous lap it was your leader still the fastest out on the track right now I should take that back the fastest out on the track was the 19 of Alexander Abraham with a 53096 that could be our fastest lap of the session I do believe I will find out for sure Actually, our fastest lap of the race is set by Maurice Lindier and 52.560. Who is currently this guy right here, the number 48 car, the black and white 48. Working on the 64 right now. Has the fastest lap of the session. Pit stop should be happening here probably within the next, if I if it's me, I'm trying to push it to at least lap 50. So I would guess probably within the next four laps. Frank really has nothing really to worry about. It's still two seconds ahead right now of that 70 car. So I would just really take my time and try to make it to lap 50 before I come down pit road. And then try to make it on one more stop after that. We are halfway in the race. Looking back at this 14 car, still working on the 63. Unable to get by him still as we get on this back stretch. He has been a little bit faster um, for the previous few laps. Unable to really do anything with that, however, because you can't close the gap to get to run out. Fifty laps to go. Oh, sorry about the little lag issue there. That happens where I'm in the uh, four or well, a um, German top server, I think. Um, so, and I'm in America, so it does lag sometimes, like that. And there it is again. Hopefully it's able to fix itself. Should be. The lead up front has actually shrunk a little bit. We're down to one point. Oh, something's going on here. Oh, we got a pit stop. New leader. Oh, the 70 coming up pit road now. Early pit stop. So we'll see what happens. Kind of surprised by that in a way. Waiting to see when the 50 car comes to pit road. He's going to come now. See who this turns lead over to, and it will give it to the lead to the 51. He actually did lead that lap as well. Sorry about the lag. It will fix itself. It just takes a second for everything to balance itself out again. Alexander Abraham will should be able to take this lead back. Um, he's a little bit off strategy right now. I worked to what car sales in my sales. Like I had to turn them up a little low. It should be good. I'm 
I was working with a new program to broadcast that was live. That's a good thing. Hopefully it's there now. Got it on board with the 84. It should be coming to Pim Road. Fast at our in race summary right now. I just realized I didn't have the car audio. I apologize for that. Um, but yeah, you can see we got nine lead changes, zero cautions for 50 laps. Not bad at all. We had one little incident where almost a caution came out, but they was able to save it and no caution. So right now, everything's looking really good. Here comes the 84 Del Pit Road. Give up the lead. This is going to cycle through to the number 19 of Alexander Abraham, who has led a total of 25 laps right now. Uh, remember, though, he's on a different strategy than a lot of these guys, and we're going to see if that's going to hurt him or not. He's really going to have to run this one really far, most likely, because I know a lot of these guys can make it on one more stop. Uh, Frank, for example, I know can make it on one more stop. I will say this the 70 actually did pass. This is a big battle right here for. Uh, third spot. This should be the one who takes the lead right now for second spot as the second goes around Frank or Mark Kiss. But this is going to be a big battle here soon if Frank can get around Mark Kiss for third spot. Should be a battle for the lead once Alexander pits. Fourteen cars coming up here road. I'm not sure if that is scheduled or not. Uh, I believe it is. With that said, we're going to take a quick break. Go side by side, and we'll come back to the conclusion of the break. Before the break, and that was if you love to eat, then flavor means everything. I want to tell you about Swamp Dust Seasoning. Swamp Dust will take your great recipes to the next level. It's the secret ingredient that your family and friends will always ask about. Whether you're grilling, broiling, or frying, Swamp Dust goes great on meats, vegetables, just about everything. Now you can take your meals from average to awesome. Made in small batches to ensure accuracy and high quality standards, Swamp Dust is a perfect balance of spices and herbs. It's all natural. And the magical blend is fantastic on everything. Whatever you're preparing, oysters, eggs, venison, fish, poultry, beef, anything, Swamp Dust seasoning will make it totally awesome. To get yours, visit SwampDust.com. Swamp Dust, it's for real. SwampDust.com.
Welcome back to the the brick at Indianapolis 240. Had 96 laps here tonight and about well over halfway now. Watching Alexander Abraham leave the field right now, starting first. Currently showing him first. I do want to point out, guys, the sponsors you see on the stream are not sponsors of the league. They're sponsors of Super Force TV. So SwapDust.com, the Living Aquarium. Go check them out, LivingAquarium.net. Um, that's who sponsors us. And of course, we got the Iris and Dirt uh, commercial because that's supposed to be confirmed soon, so we'll see. Either way, right now, watching this other 19 car, who I'm guessing is going to have to stay out as long as he can before he pits. I think it's a matter of time before the 70 catches him. Um, but if I'm him, I'm staying out you know, as long as I can until they pass me. Uh, last time by, it was a pretty big gap, about two seconds faster is the 70 and the, th uh, the 50 car. So I would expect them to, you know, not be there real long. Uh, or not be behind them real long. So we'll see when the 19 comes to pit road. If I'm not mistaken, and I could really be pushing this, but I'm pretty sure the 70 and 50 can make it on one more stop. The 19, where he's been pit stop, where he stopped so early, may have to make it on two more stops. We'll wait and see what happens. I'm pretty impressed with the 79 as well. Kevin Adams has already made three stops, but everybody else around him has pretty much made two stops. Uh, there's a couple guys behind him trying to make one stop. But he's the one that has one of the most highest pit stops right now. He's in fourth place. Uh, right now, trying to close it up a little bit. Look a little bit further back in the field. Here we go. There's a battle for a position. Will Garcia trying to take away that seventh position on that 63, and he will take it away down the back stretch. Look that 37 up to seventh. Side by side now, a little bit behind him as well. 64 trying to pass the 63. He does. 63 falling back here just a little bit. 35 currently not. Oh, it looks like uh, Alexander Abraham coming up here at road. Oh, uh, with 38 laps to go. This may be what Kevin Adam, for example, may need, to be honest. He's, what, so a lot of these guys still need caution, I think, to really, you know, get this little bunch back up, but I don't know if we're going to see a caution. It's been this long and uh, have yet to have one caution. So it's been a great race so far, and I, I like seeing races that go green at the very tight. We've yet to ever have a caution-free race here on Center Force TV. Almost had one the other night with the Oval Fleet, uh, one caution at Kate Holden. But right now, these guys are on set, or on pace to set a record here for Center Force TV broadcasting as no caution. So we'll see if that's able, we'll see if they're able to keep that up. Previous lap, it was Frank in that 50 car starting to run down first place. Uh, but more, we'll wait and see what happens as they work out turn three. You can see the marbles really high. I want to be honest, if anybody gets really high on this track right now with all this rubber that's being put down, you're going to see a different kind of race because it's going to run up chicken and everything. And that's where a race can really happen. You can see the rubber, how dark it is on the turns. We'll watch right here, right now. Stretch, but we'll see. Going to turn one, you should be able to see it fairly good. Right there, you see that rubber strip that they're on. There's a lot of marbles. You can barely see them if you look close enough up against that wall. So if anybody gets too hot in these turns and run up against that wall, you're going to pick up the marbles on the hot tires, and that's where trouble can happen. Frank has really ran him down. Five tenths right now is his fifth car. Look from the nose. See some of the marbles right there up in that turn I was speaking about. You should start seeing some marbles fly around as well. The track really starts to slick it up a little bit when this rubber starts really putting up, especially with over a 100 degree track here. 
could be an issue. Um, so, I'm not saying we're going to do caution three but there is a chance that we could, of course, but there's also a chance that we could start having a lot of wrecks happen here. Trying to pick up this first of the season is a uh, 50 car. That's what 13 laps, fastest speed of 24, not 4 not. Further back, this is a battle for position. 53 continues to fall back as both of your cars, the 27 and the 51, get around the 63. Here's your last car right now on the lead lap, sitting in 20th place right now. Crafts it in that number 22 car. Battle for the lead. Back up front. The 50 car trying to figure out a way to get around the 70 car as they work down the straightaway. 12 seconds ahead right now of Kevin Adam and back in third. Honest, this next pit stop is going to be huge. You make one mistake on pit road, it could end your chance of winning this race as close as these guys are running. That draft really helps you as well. Chevrolet SS Domino's Pizza. 50 car trying to figure out a way to get around this number seven. All that rubble build up on the bottom of the turns. Here comes Cat or Frank trying to work to the inside. I didn't want to get there. Me personally, I think it's a matter of time until Frank gets around him. Here we go. Battle for the lead. Starting to pick up a little bit. I think it's a matter of time before Frank tries to figure out or gets around the 70 car, but if I'm the 70, I'm going to hold him up as long as I can to make him run off his tires to make it a little bit more even. Because remember, the uh, 50 has a little bit fresher tires than what the 70 does. Uh, uh, before he pitted a few laps before Frank did, so. Looking to the inside. Trying to get the run off. We'll see. Still side by side at the exit of turn two. Could be a possible lead change. Nope, not yet. That 70 working that highlight got the momentum run, and that really helped him a lot. Now we got a lap car coming into play here. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, that is Mark Kiss who is trying to work his way back on the lead lap under. Yeah, under green. So right now he's got one more car to pass. That 34 could take this spot away. Get back on the lead lap on his own. Right now, only 17 cars right now on the lead lap. Make that 16 cars. And we got some pit stops taking place. I just want to point out that this Got the 32 car, I'm sorry, the 93 car right here did have the best pit stop last time by. It's a 
is what we're seeing. So that's the fastest pit stop of the race. This lap car right here is not going to go down easy. Definitely playing a factor. Twenty nine laps to go. Battle for the lead, heating up side by side at the exit of turn two. It don't look like he's gonna be able to get it just yet. Above, you can see the distance. It is starting to slowly close back up. Trouble! That. That may put it in to who wins this race possibility. The 50 has to be disappointed with that. Now caution comes out. I'm not sure what the caution was actually for. Trying to find out what the actual caution was for. We got a lot to success here, I guess you could say. We'll look at the list first. As Frank was looking to try to make a pass on the 70 car. Puts the block on. Hits the wall and just loses it. Tough break there. There's also something else that happened as well. I'm trying to find out what it was. I'm trying to see what the, second, what the actual caution was for. I didn't see it get thrown. No idea. Either way, this helps, uh, honestly, in my personal opinion, it helps Alexander Abraham. It's gonna get him back on the pitch strategy with only 26 laps to go once we hit the line. We'll see a lot of cars stay out and get the wave around. It's going to be a big race off pit road. Huge race off pit road. See how the cars are staying out. Really going to shake a lot of things up. As that is our first caution of the afternoon. Race all pit road right here is going to be huge. Here it comes. Looks like the 70, followed by the 79, Kevin Adam. And it looks like it is going to be 64 possibly. And a bunch of other guys. We did have one car stay out. Uh, probably the lead a lap, probably guess. That is this man. 
22 of Michael Kravitzik. Gotta be disappointing for that 50 car. Had such a good car, and I just made one little simple mistake, and that's what happened. Looks like now the 22 is going to come down pit road, which is going to try to lead over to the 70 car. Now we just put a bunch of cars back on the lead lap, 21 to be exact. And I'm going to tell you what's going to be a big factor because this could caution the brief caution, so we'll see. Or precaution should see. Uh, we're gonna see what happens. This could be interesting. We'll be right back after a brief commercial. Should be getting ready to go back green. I would uh, guess anyway, we should be. As we get, it should be a double up, should I say. Keep your eye on that number 79 of Mark, or uh, oh, Kevin Adams right there. And that green and purple top car, black on it. Keep your eye on him. He could be someone that uh, may have something to say with who wins this race. And also, keep on this man right here, the pole sitter, uh, Alexander Abraham. But 31 laps so far, sitting in sixth place now, back on the right strategy. So he may be able to do something here as well. We double him up. We're going to try to get interviews from the top three after this race. Um, it may be a little hard because I don't know if all of them speak English. Um, and I don't speak German or you know, the language they speak. So we're going to try. Um, last time they didn't even interview because they didn't lose to Shy. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. Hopefully we can. Uh, got some good questions about the rubber buildup and stuff. And how difficult the track was to actually drive. Out of turn number four, get ready to take the green flag here. Should be good on field. Now, if Kosh comes out, they're going to come down and probably get tires if it comes out, of course, but we'll see what happens. I will wait for the pace car to drop in. It drops in so late here. There's the pace car, and we are. Great. 
flag. Back to green flag here at Indianapolis Motor Speedway. A little bit of wheel spin right there from that 93 car. Okay, you gotta be careful in these cars, but we already see one crazy restart, or one start, so now we're watching a crazy restart all the way throughout the field. Cars fighting for every inch they can get right now. Road Garcia up to fourth. As you can see, cars diving in and out, trying to get everything they can. Battle for the lead starting to heat up. That number 79 right there wants to lead. Has not let a lap all day in that Ford. Right now giving him everything he's got, trying to get there. Possibly, I believe he may be faster to the inside. And the 70's got the momentum on the high side. He will shut the door on the 79. Number 70 with the virtual racing school. You haven't checked it out. Be sure to do pretty cool little add-on for our racing. Will the 79 be able to get there? Take this lead away. Could be a big win here. If he's able to get around, he may be able to actually drive away. We'll see. Right now, Alexander Abraham still stuck back in that sixth spot. Off oh, turn number two, down this long back stretch. Everybody single file right now. Still 21 laps to go. That's still a long ways to go. 40 miles. Actually, a little over 40 miles, but so it's 2.5 miles. Looks like the 70 has a little bit of an advantage right now. Got a pass right here with the 27 of Daniel Adams trying to take away, trying to move to the top 10. Or uh, put somebody up to 11th, I'm sorry. That Menard Chevrolet now sets his sights on on the top 10. Is that 51 of Christine right in front of him? Or Christian, I'm sorry, Christian, it's not bad. Here's Alexander Abraham started on the pole, sitting in sixth at the moment, trying to work around Robert in the 93 car. Low Chevrolet. Be sure to check these guys out at virtual-oval.net. Um, Pretty cool website, by the way. Next time we'll be with these guys is in two weeks. They take a week break between every race, so next week we will just do a center force. Tuesday we go for the Daytona 250 for the Oval guys. Got a new league we're going to be broadcast on the 23rd on Thursday, I believe. That night anyway we will be. Go fast, lead. And then uh, Fridays, we're back with the IRA. And then Sunday for CFR Championship. Also got one broadcast tonight, CFR Championship. At Darlington Speedway. We're going live at 7.55 here on YouTube. Still watching this battle right here with the 19 and 93. This is probably the best battle I'm on track right now. The 70 car is pretty much starting to get a little bit of a mo momentum. 
shift in his favor. Four tenths right now ahead as the leader. Nineteen trying to figure out a way to get around this ninety-three car. He does have a little bit of damage. Both of them actually have a little bit of damage on the right front. Thirty-two of George Mark Martinez, I think, is watching on. Gap has actually closed a little bit up front. Sixty-four is also right there watching. Well, he's a little bit further behind these guys, but watching ahead. Carries the ninety-two. Who is a couple laps down? I do believe Martin Cable. See his car. Very nice looking car, by the way. five laps down right now. But he is pushing to 79, which could help him a little bit. Kind of like a bump draft. I do want to say Daniel Adam did get into the top 10 just now by making a pass on the 48. Go a battle for a position. Alexander Abraham takes away two spots. Oh, I'm sorry, he took away fifth place. I'm sorry, he does move into fifth place. The 32 took away sixth from the 93 as well. Open the door. Still got a little bit of work to do though. As Alexander trying to run down this guy, Rogue Garcia. Third is the 64 Florian. Currently in third right now, who uh, looks pretty fast himself. Looking out right now, the fastest out on track is Rose Garcia at the moment, the last time by. The interval is actually growing a little bit for Ke or Kevin Adam, is now five tenths behind Bokor up at first. Capel. I apologize for the five months that as well. Daniel Adams still trying to work his way up. Looking to pick a spot here. This is a battle for ninth place now. This 27 car has been on the move here uh, since the start of the latest restart we just had. Started up in 12th. Now he does take away the ninth spot. Oh, does take away the ninth position now. Now he sets his, oh, not able to clear him just yet. Oh, yeah, he did clear him too, I apologize. That was the wrong card. Now he sets his sights on Christian up in front of him. That 51 car. He's also been, had a pretty good day. Start back in 11th, up to 8th. With only 13 laps remaining. Right now it is a one-man show out front as the lead has grown even further for this number 70 car. Uh, before no one right now around him can do anything about it either. Almost up to a second lead.
biggest battle on the track right now is this one that we're looking at. With uh, Daniel Adam, Marquis Linder, Gabriel, and the 84 car there as well. See how dark this track has gotten since the rubber started getting put down. First came in here, you could actually go back and get into the broadcast and see the rubber was not as bad. You can see some of the marbles and stuff flying off the track as well. So it's starting to really change. The track definitely changes here on iRacing. That's one thing I'll say about this simulator in general is the way the track changes is amazing. One point three seconds ahead is Bocor over Kevin Adam. Like that one point four seconds. Alexander Abraham, by the way, did fall back to the thirty-two now back in sixth again. This is that nineteen car after leading uh thirty-one lap. Also, I will say with this lap right here led. If he comes off four, this right here will give that 70 the most left land for now. The only person that can catch him would be the 19, and I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon right now anyway. He's back in sixth place. Um, six seconds behind right now is Alexander. However, Alexander trying to make something happen. Put the peak to the inside of that 32, trying to get moved back into the top five. And I'm going to get there just yet. He's using the draft on the straightaways. And trying to close the gap up some. To try to get a run. 32 goes a little bit high there. We'll see if that helps the 19. Don't look like it did very much. Close the gap by about a tenth. Same thing happened that time as well. 32 went a little bit high and the gap did not change very much. Still single file all the way throughout the field. Uh, I will tell you that Bocor, the leader, 1.567 seconds ahead now. We got 1.6. So right now, Kevin Adams trying to run down the leader. I don't know if he's going to be able to get there yet. Um, last time by, it was. Bocor fastest, so it's going to be tough. I will tell you that Florin at 64 is starting to run down second place of Kevin Adam. 1.1 second behind right now. He was two tenths faster last time. Possible pass here. The 19 took a peek underneath the 64. He's going to do it again. He runs a little bit high that 32. This could help the 19 take that spot away. It'll be drag racing down the straightaway. A little bit of help from behind from that 93 pushing this 19. This is where things could get a little bit dangerous, but it looks like the 19 may be able to clear him off one. We'll see. Nope, not yet. Maybe off two. Still side by side. Now he's able to clear him. Now he's got to slide up in front of him right here at the exit. We'll see if he's able to. That 19 takes the fifth spot away. Moves him into the top five. He's still got his hands full with his 93 pushing him, though. As the 93 Robert still working on George right here. And the 32 is still stuck on that high side, so this may even open the door for the 61. We'll see. But here comes the 93. Still going to have to get around him. We've seen that 32 drop that high line for the last few laps and been pretty fast up there. But 93 is able to get around him anyway and slide up by in front of him to stop that momentum. Possible crossover coming from this 32. Here it comes. Three wide down the straightaway now. This is where things can get a little crazy. Will someone lift? The 93 lifts. A smart move there by that 93 car. Up front, the lead's even gotten even more bigger. Now 2.5 seconds ahead, but we do have a battle for second place. You can see it right here on the screen, the 64 and 40 has caught the back end of the 79 of Kevin Adams.
to the inside. 64, Flores should be able to take this spot away as you see the gap has been closing really fast. Off turn number four, 64 of Florian will move into the second place. And now the 79 dives back up to the inside, took the peak, and it ain't gonna be able to get there, so he's gonna fall back behind the 64 and put that car in the third place. Six laps to go right now. Remaining for this man, who is in a lot of traffic. He definitely don't has it, he does not have it easy. But he does have the lead, that's one thing about him. He does have the lead. Still battling with Kevin Adam and Adam Flory. A little bit further back, this 93 is still in a tough battle here with the 32. Christian Sullivan, oh, I'm sorry, Robert and George going out of the ring now. Trying to hold on to the top six. Five left to go. Side by side now, 93 looking to try to take that sixth spot away. He does have a nose out front. A little bit loose on the exit. We'll see if that hurts him. We've seen him actually do that twice, I believe. Oh, the 27. Did he save it? Yes, but he will lose a lot of spot. Daniel Adams. With a great save. We'll see if there was contact involved in this. Running behind that 48. Uh, Marquise, we'll see what happens. He made it sound a little bit loose, and he did. Great job on saving that car. He should have lost it, to be honest. That was a great save. Back up front. See this 32 now working. He's trying to work past 93. 93 did get around it, but here comes the 92 of uh, George Marquinez. Now the adrenaline starts kicking in with only four laps to go. You've been sitting in the car for a long time now. 96 laps these guys had to go. You know, that 92 trying to put this race behind them, although it's been a very good race. One, only one caution flag right now. I'm very impressed with that. With as many cars as we've had here, that's very impressive. Looks like we only had three cars not finishing the race. That 50 car, Frank, um, led a lot of laps. Got to be disappointed with the rankings finish. Three laps to go for this man right here. Still going to watch a couple other battles right now, though. Or should I say that? There's not many battles going on. As I'm looking at my wild timing. This is the closest battle though. We'll jump to this one to see if this 51 of Christian can close the gap on 32 of George Marquinez and take away that seventh spot. Alexander Abraham still running in fifth place. Someone's in the wall. 48 or 34, Mark Kiss hits the wall hard. Um, still holding on to the top 10. He's gonna have to struggle now, try to keep that 17 behind him. They're all chasing this guy. Got a lap car, looks like, coming out of the pits. And I'm fairly certain these guys can make it on gas, so we shouldn't have any problem with that. As the lap car, that's the number 80 car, is just gonna move up out of the way. Uh, Brian Diaz, who moves up, and unless it's having to go, no use of holding up the leader. Oh, turn number four, he's going to see the white flag is in the air. Cocor trying to tap off what has been an amazing race, 41 laps left right now. No mistakes, and he will have this one in the books.
Nice and smooth through turn number two down this long back stretch here in Indianapolis. This is going to be one of the biggest wins you could possibly have, honestly. Um, right next to Daytona, this could be possibly the biggest win that you want. Uh, we're going to find out, though, as he works through turn number three for the final time, and he will see turn four. Very flat turn four, I might add. Off turn number four, and you're going to see what domination looks like as a Coast Boat Corps will win here at Indianapolis Motor Speedway for the Brick 240. Great run for that 70 car. Second place will go to the 64. Third will go to 79 of Kevin Adams. Fourth will go to uh, Roque Garcia. Fifth, Alexander Abraham. Sixth will go back to Robert in that 93 car. George Marquez will finish in seventh. Christian in that 51 will finish in eighth. Marcus Linder will finish in ninth. And Eve, uh, I don't even want to pronounce the last name. I apologize, but you got an awesome car. will finish in top ten. What a great run for our Bocor. The awesome run there. We are going to try to get interviews for our top three if we can. Uh, I'm trying to see if he's actually in the... I don't see him right now. I'm looking. The 70 here is going to burn it down and will be your winner here at Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Hits the wall a little bit, but great win for that number 70 car, as you can tell. Take a look here at our final results. We'll try to get an interview with guys. Uh, there's your top 10. We already mentioned them once here tonight. Uh, once they cross the finish line, we'll take a look here from 11th through 20th. Michael Kresdorf will finish pretty impressive with the 12th place. Mark Kiss will finish 13th after running in the top 10 and hitting the wall. Daniel Adam had a really good run going as well. He got loose off turn number two and was able to save it, but still a disappointing, probably most likely a disappointing finish for him. We'll finish 14th. Um, Roman Matthews, Matthews will finish in 18th. A little bit further look back, you can see that 50 car of uh, Frank who had a ton of laps here. Well, finishing in disappointing 26th place. And we're seeing who's all in here and uh, trying to get some interviews if I can figure out how. We're trying to get interviews here. I'm uh, talking to someone right now. See if I can possibly get a translator. Uh, and so we can talk to... Is our winner in here? I'm trying to see if our winner is actually in here. I'm trying to see if actually anybody's in here that we may, may know. I don't see none of our top three actually in here. I'm looking. Well, there's Frank. Uh, he's in here. Uh, that looks like all that's in here. We're going to see if we can possibly get some interviews. We're waiting to see. As we'll sit here and we'll just wait one second before we wrap everything up. I will go ahead and get my final thoughts on the race. It was a great race. Uh, we'll take a look at our in-race summary real fast. Only one caution for four laps, for 96 laps, 11 lead changes. Not bad at all. Um, very interesting race. You couldn't really pass a whole lot. It was tough passing. It is Indianapolis, and I think the most exciting race by any means. But when we, we actually got to watch really close battles, I mean, the cars was around each other the entire race, and that could lead to, you know, dr drama-type finishes or trouble. But we still seen some great racing. Um, seen a lot of green flag pit stops. So, yeah, that was my final thoughts of the race. I thought it was a great race in general, to be honest. So, waiting to see if we can get anybody in here to try to get a interview. Don't think we're going to be able to. Um, well, 
fighting to see if we can. Just message the second place finisher. Hopefully get him in here. Talk to him. And see how his afternoon went. See if he could have done anything different. Well, I think that might wrap it up for us here tonight. I'm looking to see. Yeah, that's going to wrap it up for us here tonight. And uh, that's going to do it for us. We did not get no interviews. Uh, looks like a lot of people don't want them, which I understand. Um, but, yeah, thanks, everybody, for watching. And uh, we'll be back here tonight at 7.55 p.m. Eastern Time for the CFR Championship. Uh, and that's going to do it for everything here tonight. And we'll talk to you all soon. Thanks for watching, and God bless.